Hello and welcome to um, lesson one. And this is on Islam practices. So it's in the Islam practices unit of work. And we are looking at the five pillars, the 10 obligatory acts and the shahidah within uh, this, this one unit. So need to be quick. Okay, first and foremost, the five pillars. They are central within the religion of Islam. If you will, they are very much if the, the heartbeat as if you want to be a good Muslim. In fact, if you want to be a Muslim full stop, you must follow the five pillars. They are a set of strict rules which you must adhere to, you must follow if you are a Muslim. Now, as you would guess, five pillars, there are simply, there are fundamentally five rules. These are, first and foremost, the Shahidah. The Shahidah is known as a declaration of faith. This is something that you must say if you are to be a Muslim. It takes seconds and, well, seconds, minutes, and essentially is this, is that there is one God, uh, uh, excuse me, there is one God, Allah, and his greatest prophet is Muhammad, peace be upon him. And essentially, if you say that and recite it in Arabic as well in front of an imam, then you can be a uh, Muslim convert. Um, you will hear the shahidah at the moment of your birth, it'll be whispered in the Baba's ear, and at the hour of your death, if of course, you know, it's uh, it is a planned death, of course. Uh, the second pillar is uh, Salah, uh, which is prayer, S-A-L-A-H, uh, which is prayer. Muslims uh, will typically pray five times a day, some more, uh, and they will pray towards Mecca. Uh, this shows devotion, and uh, we will come to why they do it later on in, in the course. Uh, the third pillar is Zakah. This is where they give, uh, they, they do a charitable act or they give, uh, they literally do give money or savings and it's 2.5% of their uh, annual uh, savings. The fourth pillar is Sawm or fasting, Ramadan. And this, uh, this goes on for an entire month and uh, they can only eat or drink or engage in sexual activities. They can't swear, they can't even look lustfully at somebody uh, for an entire month whilst the sun is up. They won't eat or drink whilst the sun is up. And fifthly, the final pillar is a uh, hajj or pilgrimage. Uh, once in their lifetime, Muslims are, there is an expectation that they do go to Mecca and they do go, uh, they, they circle the, uh, the black, black cube, the, the Kaaba. And um, in addition to the five pillars, uh, Muslims who uh, follow an additional set of, uh, of duties. There are 10 duties called the 10 obligatory acts. And um, they follow these in addition, as I say, to the five pillars. So there's a group called the Shi'i Muslims who will follow these 10. And obviously they're incorporated within the uh, 10 obligatory acts are, as you would expect, Salah. So that's one of the 10 obligatory acts, Psalm, fasting, which we've mentioned already, Zakah, charity. But in addition to that, uh, the, the fourth obligatory act is Qums. So yes, they pay their 2.5% of charity, but in addition, Shi'i Muslims pay an additional 20% of, uh, of said tax on income once all expenses uh, ha are deducted. Half goes to charity and half goes to the Shi'i re religious leaders. Uh, the fifth one is Hajj, which we've covered already as one of the five pillars. Um, Shi'i Muslims also, they, they follow something called the Jihad. The Jihad is basically essentially a struggle uh, to maintain the faith and defend Islam. For many Muslims, uh, this means the struggle to live by by their faith as well as well as possible. Uh, for example, by obeying the five pillars, contributing to the community, or doing voluntary work. Uh, it's um, so that that is the uh, the, the sixth uh, ten of the ten obligatory acts. The seventh obligatory of the ten obligatory acts is Amr bil Maruf. This is encouraging people to do what is good. So with any kind of situation that you might find yourself in, you must encourage people to do the right thing. 
eight is Nahi and Anil Munkar. All of these, incidentally, my pronunciations can be found written on the document that will sit on Show My Homework a long line alongside the hyperlink to this YouTube clip. Nahi Anil Munkar is essentially discouraging people from doing the wrong thing. So in complete opposite to Amir Bil Mar Maruf, where you're encouraging people to do the right thing, this one is discouraging people to do the wrong thing. Number nine, lovely Arabic word here, is tawawala, tawawala, okay, tawawala. It's essentially to be loving towards the friends of God, and it, that includes Muhammad and the imamans, so to show love and compassion to, to your fellow Muslim essentially. And the tenth obligatory act is Tabara. Tabara is disassociating from people that are enemies of God. So it's, uh, it's, it's giving those people uh, a, wide, a wide berth, essentially. So the Shahidah is the absolute pivotal point, because it is the point at which you are either Muslim or not. It is incidentally on the Saudi Arabian flag, that's where it can be found, uh, but it is something that if you say it comes from the heart, then you are a Muslim. But being a Muslim isn't just about saying the Shahidar in front of him in Man. You've got to follow the five pillars, and if you're a Shiite Muslim, you've got to follow the ten obligatory acts.